Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ral. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my NVIDIA settings and my graphic settings because I do not see a lot of people posting their settings. I'm going to go ahead and take care of you guys, man. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys the best way to see things on Caldera and Rebirth. I want to go ahead and open up your control panel settings and then go ahead and go to manage 3D settings. Once you're in manage 3D settings here, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to want to go ahead and go to image scaling, have it on off, ambient occlusion on off, anisotropic filtering on off, anti-aliasing on off, gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode on off, background applications, max frame rate off, CUDA GPUs on all, ESR factors on off. Go ahead and make sure you have your low latency on ultra. A lot of people say this doesn't do anything, but I'm a firm believer that it does. They're lying. Max frame rate on off, fixed refresh rate on monitor technology, multi frame sample on off, open GL rendering GPU with uh, obviously your GPU. Power management, be sure this is a big one. Have it on map, prefer maximum performance. Very, very important. Refresh rate, application controlled, or just whatever your max refresh rate is. You always want to go the highest possible on your monitor. Driver catch size on driver default. You want your texture filtering on allow, texture filtering on negative LOD bias on allow. Another very, very important one is to have your quality on high performance and go ahead and prioritize the performance over the quality of the game which is going to go ahead and make you win a lot more close range gunfights optimization on on triple buffering on off vertical sync on off as well and then uh virtual reality pre and reframes on one and virtual reality variable rate super sampling on off and once you're done doing all those settings man be sure that you guys go to program settings and select modern warfare make sure you are using the global setting Oftentimes, it is not set there in stone. So make sure you are 100% using everything that you change on Modern Warfare. Otherwise, you just change all that for no reason at all. All right. So next up, we're going to go to change resolution. Always make sure if you're on PC, be on your max refresh rate, guys. 240 for me. I'm on 1440p. I have the Asus ROG PG279QM monitor. This monitor is literally sex. This monitor is gorgeous, beautiful. I would literally take this monitor out to dinner if I could. It's amazing. If you're thinking about pulling the trigger on a monitor and you don't really have a budget of any kind where you can just kind of get the best of the best, I highly recommend it, but it does come with a juicy price point. So bear that in mind. All right, then we're gonna go to adjust desktop color settings. I have my gamma just slightly higher. Digital vibrance, you wanna float usually around between 60 and 80. It's gonna be different for every single person's preference. I prefer kind of like a slightly colorful game, but not to the point where I got rainbows and unicorns running around my game. So I'll just have it on about 65. I think it's a pretty decent place to have it. Contrast slightly turned up. I actually do adjust my contrast on my settings on my monitor settings. So this is kind of default for the most part. You could do all these settings besides the digital vibrance on your monitor itself. Make sure you go to adjust desktop size and position. Always have this on full screen. Make sure you, once again, you have the correct resolution and refresh rate. Do not play with G-Sync on. Personally, I played with G-Sync on. I feel a juicy delay. A lot of people tell me that it has no delay. I don't care, bro. You're literally lying to me, bro. I don't know why you're lying to me, but they're lying. It does not feel better. The game does look definitely better, but 100%, I feel something weird, something strange when I'm playing with it. I do not like it. You could try it if you do have a G-Sync monitor, but I personally would not recommend it. And I don't know a single person that uh, plays Warzone at a higher level and does play with G-Sync on, but they might be out there somewhere. My multiple displays for obviously my Elgato, my capture card and my monitor. Then I have my color range always on limited. I have my colors on limited because when I have it on full, honestly, I just feel like the darks are super dark and the whites are super white and I can't really see that well. So I like it on limited personally. I know that that's very controversial, but give it a try, honestly. All right, and with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys my graphic settings. Alrighty guys, so my graphic settings now, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go on full screen, have your monitor here, your GPU here, your screen refresh rate on your max, screen resolution on whatever resolution your monitor is. We're gonna go on disable, 10, automatic, disabled, custom. I have mine on 300, 60, and 30, so my GPU does not run hot as hell while I'm just waiting in the lobby doing nothing. I don't need to have 400 frames to see my guy walking in place on a treadmill. I'm gonna go ahead and put my brightness on 50. Display gamma, controversial one right here, ladies and gentlemen. I actually play on 2.4 display gamma, Instead of the 2.2, I like the 2.4. I feel like I see better and I feel like the colors just look better and I just like 2.4 better. So give it a try if you guys want. If not, totally cool. Whatever floats your boat. NVIDIA highlights on disabled. That's going to go ahead and eat up your frames if you have that enabled. You have to have this on enabled or enabled plus boost. I like it on enabled plus boost personally. 
Now, my field of view is on 120. You have to play unaffected. Maybe if you're a mouse and keyboard guy, you could get away with it. I know a couple of you guys like to have it on independent if you're a mouse and keyboard. If you're on a controller, have it unaffected. Trust me. Camera movement on 50. Streaming quality has to be on low because whenever I did it normal, I was actually getting like packet bursts and all this weird stuff that was popping on my screen. So I didn't like that. Uh, text resolution on normal. I feel like I need to have this on normal or high in this game because I have a very hard time seeing things. So normal makes it so much easier to distinguish players from bushes and bushes from players and people don't blend in on into things. So have it on normal, low, high, enabled, disabled, 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 and on demand, everything is just the same as always. Film strength is on one for me. And then my film grain is on zero. My video DLSS is on disabled. Anti-aliasing is on off. So you have to stack into aliasing when this is on off you have to have your film strength on one depth of field on disabled world motion blur disabled and weapon motion blur disabled show map resolution on low that's going to save you a lot of frames and then caching your shadows is also going to give you some frames particle light on low disabled 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 and that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen hopefully you guys did enjoy the video man if you did be sure to like the video and subscribe for more thanks for watching you look great today happy war zoning take care bye